Welcome back. I am Dr. Stacy Ruel Dupont, and today we're going to talk a little bit about why movement is so important to your mental health. So for many people, we understand that exercise does make us feel better and that we really do um, want to move as part of our mental health treatment. However, some people don't always understand that part of the movement process for mental health isn't always just the same as doing more exercise. It really depends on what we're treating, how we're treating it, what modalities we're using as to what that movement for mental health is going to look like. So sometimes it might be incredibly slow and mindful. Other times it might be really fast. We might be pushing, we might be pulling, we might be looking at reflexes and different developmental stages of locomotor development as ways to kind of unwind the psychology through the physiology. One of the things that's really, really critical to why movement works so well for mental health is that what happens to us psychologically happens to us physically. We cannot separate out just our mind from our bodies. Everything that happens to us happens to us on a physical plane. And it happens to us on a physical plane through our endocrine systems and the hormones, neuropeptides, neurotransmitters, all those things um, happens to us in the neurology of our brain and our body as things are changing based on the experiences that we are having. That's called neuroplasticity. So every experience you have changes you. And when we go through the process of having a psychological thought, maybe an emotional feeling or sensation, we're actually changing the, the chemistry and the physiology of the body. Not only are we changing how the body might be responding chemically, but then also electronically through our electrical systems of the body and also through our atoms and how our atoms of our protons, neutrons, electrons, those sorts of things are just vibrating in within our physical structures. So every psychological experience is about your physiology. When that happens, things get stuck. And people will describe it that way, like my breath hitched or my stomach's tight or I have tension, I have a knot. They'll describe these different ways of having these experiences get stuck in their physiology. And when that happens, your energy of your body cannot move through, however you wanna conceptualize what that means for you, Basically, in my world, we look at it as armoring. You start to compensate using your physical system to protect defensively for your psychological system. And what that will eventually do over time is create physical problems. You'll, you'll start to have musculoskeletal problems. You'll start to have digestive problems, heart problems, concentration problems will result as, a, as you do not deal with what has happened to you psychologically and has now gotten stuck in your physical systems, however that has manifested for you. So when we look at movement for mental health, it is really important to think about how we can unwind what that is. And that's really unique to each person. Um, again, like I said earlier, it might depend on what modality or you know therapeutic model we're really looking at, what interventions we're using for that movement and what we're treating. If I'm treating depression, it's going to look different than if I'm treating anxiety, than if I'm treating trauma, than if I'm treating ADHD, than if I'm treating an eating disorder, addiction, etc. when I'm using movement. It will also look different maybe session to session because in one session we might be working really slowly with movement and another session we might be working very quickly. Um, there might be movement in between sessions and some you know, mindfulness and awareness we're trying to build within ourselves to really be able to face what that is and address where that has gotten stuck for us. A lot of times we're using breath alongside any movement interventions because breath helps us regulate both our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous systems. And we need both online every day. Every time you inhale, you're sympathetically activating. Every time you exhale, you're parasympathetically activating. Those are the ways that our nervous system stays balanced throughout, throughout our day. So those of you who are familiar with heart, va heart rate variability, that's what we're measuring is that balance between these two different halves of our nervous system and how well our body is regulated and recovered. And these are very important. And when we're looking at that from a psychology perspective, it's really important to understand where we are in our system related to our psychology wounding and then how we're using that movement and our different nervous system states to unwind what's been held up and gotten stuck. So 
you might have a practitioner, they might ask you to do something really slow, just shifting your hand back and forth. They might ask you to do something that's pushing or pulling. They might ask you to run down the hall. They might ask you to do some jumping lunges or squats. It just really depends on what we're doing and why. But the bottom line of what we're doing and why we're doing it is so that we can unwind the system and we can undo the hooks that have you stuck so that you can move through, metabolize out, and process the emotional and psychological experience that has gotten stuck in your physiology. Just working through it from a psychological perspective and not addressing the physiology isn't enough. Just running more and trying to work it through in your, your physiology, but not addressing it in your psychology in the way that you believe, think, and behave, the way that you address and regulate your emotions, and the way you use your different intelligence systems is not enough. You have to address it in both your physiology and your psychology to really get the holistic benefits of the best wellness that you can to be the most vibrant and the most energetic that you can. If that stuff is interesting to you and you are really intrigued by what that all means, please reach out. You can subscribe to our channel. You can give this video a thumbs up. In the comments below, place any sort of information you'd like to hear more about. You can reach out to us. You can find me at stacyrd.com where you can learn a little bit more about me and my background. And you can also find me at our Integrative Psychology Clinic where we blend movement and meals for mental health at studiob.life. So studiob.life. You can find us there. I have work with alongside a great group of practitioners in behavioral health and physical health. And we come together to collaborate because we know we're stronger together. None of us have to be the complete 100% expert all by ourselves. Together, we make a bigger impact and we can help you make a much bigger impact in your life and your wellness and your health, elevating you to wherever you want to go with that. If that's interesting to you, reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day and be well.